Hi hey guys, another quickie to show you. We'll do a bit of an inbox one of this one. This is Vesta's brand new C130. This is a continuation of the C130 series they're doing. This is the J model, so this has got all the features of the multi-prop, um, uh, multi-props, stretch fuselage, uh, refueling tank and everything else. Very, very nice kit. Uh, the first one was outstanding. This uh, looks even better. So, we have fuselage. So this is the long stretch fuselage of the C-130. So this has got the extra extensions in it. You can see by this detail inside it as well. Even the undercarriage bay has got lots of detail in it. There's a Swanson that goes over that, obviously. Uh, so that's very, very nice. Instructions and decals, we'll have a look at them in a second. Clear parts. Uh, Svez is getting very, very good now compared to the old days of their clear parts. These are much, much clearer and thinner and uh, should work really, really well. Or, however, I will probably crystal clear all the little portholes and everything else just to make it uh, a little bit cleaner. So that's pretty cool. Wings, just it looks like the same set of wings they had in the original kit because that doesn't really change much. It's the engines and the fuselage lengths that change. Uh, the detail on the interior of the kit, there is a massive amount of interior parts. That's the extension for the floors. Uh, all these sort of, there's refueling probes, various types, uh, interior parts there, more interior parts as part of the cockpit area. The doors, uh, the doors have got detail only on the outside, not the inside. So if you want them open, you might have to add some things to it. This is a replacement series of engines. So that's the new style with the, the which will take the different props. Uh, this is all your prop blades and things like that. So there's all the curved blades, engine fronts, uh, engine exhaust. So there's quite uh, quite a lot of detail in that. So that looks pretty cool. Uh, that's your second set. So obviously you get four engines. This is the interior. This is really, really nice. The floor is very good. Don't forget when you're doing a Hercules, it's quite glass, uh, quite a lot of frames in the glass and things like that. So you may not want to go nuts on the detail of the interior, you know, but it's up to you. Um, this is all various internals. There's even three figures. Which is, un which is um, nice of Vesta to do that, so, which will spruce it up a little bit. You've got the seats there. Again, the detail on the interior is very, very good. So that's quite handy. The rest of the interior for the uh, cargo bay area, this is really, really nice. The detail here is very good. There's the features on the floors, on all the sections, the padding there, the different sections there. This is uh, part of the rear section. A part of the wall section. Look, there's a lot of detail in the kit, so it, it's not going to be something you're going to throw together in a half an hour. There's all your wheels, there's the wing structure. The wing, the wing is made up of five parts. You've got these upper and then two lowers. This is part of the, the sections here, part of the rear section. There's sponsons for the, there for the engine, for the wheels. All the wheels, the wheels are pre-flattened by the look of it. So yeah, look, this is a really, really nice kit. The detail on it is very, very good. The fact that it's the stretch version is really happy. I'm sure these guys have got plans to do more and more Hercules the way they've been talking. We may even get drones and all sorts of things. I don't know how far back they could go for um, how far, like E-models or stuff like that, but this, the parts are there. The way they've laid the parts out, it's a possibility that they'll end up doing all the different Hercules versions. Uh, as they go along. So really, really nice. The important thing is, A, it's a good kit, but B, included in the kit, is big decal sheet for all the wing walks and stripes and all the rest of it. Royal Australian Air Force along the bottom there, US Air Force, so that gives you hints as to what might be in there. So but the other good news is, that's, as I said, show you that they set. That's another set of decals. It's got the American, the British, looks like Italian, uh, things like that on it. There's all sorts of little bits and pieces there, so that's pretty cool. But the important thing is, it's got the Aussie one on it. So there you go. Uh, actually, it's a French one, I think. But there's the Australian one. There's your codes, A97448. So that's all cool. That's got that's the uh, 100th anniversary marking uh, for it. Uh, that's I'm not sure why it's got invasion strikes. I think that's to do with the American one. But so it's got Aussie markings on it. So look. Lots of there. The kit is beautiful. Uh, can't wait to do one myself. Um, always wanted a um, long, long version um, perk. 
so that'll go well with all the others I've got. Other than that, uh, these are in store uh, in January, I believe. This is the sample one we were sent. Uh, these should be in store in January. However, I think they're going to be limited in their first shipment. So if you really, really want one, grab hold of one, go online, order it, or drop in and see us, or give us a call uh, to get it put aside. Guys, have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.